Yeah, we are warmer <laughs> than some spots in northern Florida right now. So we're going to show you those temperatures now because it is uh, it is chilly for them and put it into a little statistical perspective in terms of how common it is. Yeah, you, you've probably seen the articles about falling iguanas. Well, they're reptile. They're cold blooded. So when it gets into the 40s, just like our reptiles would do, uh, they become inactive. And if you're in a tree, I guess that means you fall out of it. 31 here, but take a look at some of these temperatures of the south. We are warmer than Atlanta, Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, Nashville, Washington, Orlando's 35 degrees even this morning. We'll show you some more Florida temperatures. We are warmer than northern Florida. Uh, Live Oak there is sitting at 30 degrees, 32 in Pensacola. Now, northern Florida does get frost occasionally in the winter. That is perfectly normal for them. Uh, but further south, of course, surrounded more by the warm waters of the Gulf, a little less common to see temperatures as cool as this. So an even 40 in Miami right now. But to put that into some perspective, uh, the, it's the coldest morning since December 28, 2010. So nearly 10 years. Uh, and on average, they get as cold as 40 degrees in Miami about once every other year. That's the average when we look at the 30 year normals. But again, it hasn't happened in almost a decade. And what's happening now, big climate change signal. It used to happen much more frequently. It happens about a quarter as often now as it used to. So pretty dramatic difference once you head into the 1990s and later in terms of getting this cool in Miami. And uh, it's even more rare, of course, that they would ever see freezing. Those are record temperatures uh, for Miami. But.